Hi boys and girls, today we're going to estimate differences using rounding. We're going to work, be working with three digit numbers. The first problem we're going to work on today is 475 minus 214. Now remember, I don't want an exact answer. I want an estimate or I want to know about what the difference is. I'm going to start by rounding to the nearest hundred today. So 475 is somewhere between 400 and 500. I'm going to look to my tens place. My tens place is a 7. On a 7, I'm going to round up. So 475 would round to 500. Next, I'm subtracting 214. Round it to the nearest 100, between 200 and 300, and the 1 in the tens place tells me to round that number down to 200. Now remember, differences mean this is about subtracting. 500 minus 200 is 300. So the estimate for 475 minus 214 is 300. Now let's see if you can do one. On your paper, copy down this problem. 482 minus 321. Now stop the video and go ahead and round each of those numbers to the nearest 100 and then solve it. I'm glad you're back. Now 482, did you round it to 500? And 321 you knew was between 300 and 400, so with the 2 in the tens place, you rounded it down to 300. When you subtracted 500 minus 300, I bet you also got 200. If you didn't get that answer, pause the video and see where you may have made your mistake. Okay, now I'm back. This time, we're going to round to the nearest tens. This will help us get a more exact answer. It works the same way. The only difference is now you round to the nearest 10 instead of 100. 765 and I'm going to subtract 344. Looking at those numbers, rounding to the nearest 10, if I just ignore the number in the hundreds place and look at the 65. I know that 65 is between 60 and 70. And since I have a 5 in my 1's place, the 5 tells me to round it up to 70. So 65 rounds up to 70. But that's not 65, that's 765. So I'm going to round it to 770. Now take a look at 344. To the nearest 10, what would you round it to? Think of it as 44. 44 is between 40 and 50. With a 4 in the 1's place, I'm going to round it down to 40. But that makes no sense. 344 would not round to 40. But it would round to 340. Stick that 300 back on. Now remember, we're estimating differences, so we're going to use the operation of subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3, and 7 minus 3 is 4. 
That's how I come up with the estimate of 430 when I subtract 765 minus 344. Now it's going to be your turn. Let's start with a new problem. We're also, remember, rounding to the nearest tens. Let's start with 642 and subtract 115. Again, stop the video and find what your estimated difference is. I hope you worked hard. 642. Rounded to the nearest 10. Hmm. I looked at the 42. 42 is between 40 and 50. It's closer to 40. So 642 rounds to 640. 115. 15 is between 10 and 20. With a 5, it's closer to 20. 115 rounds to 120. 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 6 minus 1 is 5. Did you get the answer 520? I hope you worked hard, and I hope you did. Remember, if you need help, ask your teacher. For now, thank you for learning about rounding numbers to the nearest 100 and 10 and using that to estimate differences.